Hello again everyone, my name is Arios, and welcome back to my precious little ant colony. Aren't they so... They're so precious... They're adorable... They're dangerous! Yeah, there we go, I can go with that. So, last time we finished the, the last two missions for the current tier level, the above ground missions. So now we can break into the second Formicarium challenge, which, like I said before, last time I made the stupid mistake and I did that on my own time without recording it. So now I'm going to actually record it to show you what the challenges are like and they are actually really cool if it fits into the same thing. So I want to make sure I save. We're going to go into Ant. We're going to go Formicarium challenge two. Uh, test the might of your formicarium colony. Will it survive whatever the scientists have planned? Well, if it's the male, probably not. The colony seems to have made significant progress. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it is time we began phase two of the trial. Agreed. I will prepare the feeder colonies. Which is, it's, it's really cool because it's just like... Let's ease them in with a familiar disturbance. Introduce 20 Formica Fusca ants. The Fusca colony is attached, and the ants are on their way. Um, it's interesting because this, like, this, the ant colony just seems like they just do their own thing. Like, they're just here. They just exist kind of thing. Versus situations where, like, other strategy games where unless the, the humans are working... They're usually just standing around doing nothing, which winds up being frustrated. I wonder if I should bring myself to the. They haven't lost their potency. Now let's try the Formica Rufa ants. The Rufa will be more aggressive. <coughs> Our Eraptors will need to put up a strong defense. Adding twenty Rufa ants. Um. But, like the humans will j only work when something is tasked to them so it doesn't feel like it's a living community kind of situation a lot of times like uh, the sims is kind of an example too uh if they they have nothing to do and you don't sign them anything they don't unless they go down and oh seeds have been dropped oh really where where at? once again our raptors have neutralized where? the threat oh to their yeah i'll let it build up before i go up there continue the experiment as before but don't push the colony too hard Oh, here he goes again. Of course not. That would be irresponsible. So this is what happened last time. The female left, and the male was by himself, and the male just kept... 40 Rufa ants. Like, this is what he did before. It was like, oh, uh, she said, don't push past, like, 30 or 40 or something like that. And he's like, how will they fare against 50? Blah, 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 blah. And so that's a, it's kind of... Seems like this is going to be the same thing as it was last time, to a point. So I'm doing. I, I should be. If if I stay down here, I uh, I think I'm going to be like <laughs> well beyond expectation. Um, I also so didn't realize. Defense. Yeah, I also didn't realize that my formicarium had a limit to how many ants I could have, not necessarily of type or anything like that. So I'm kind of stuck at 125 but still 50 rufa ants yeah and this is what i'm talking about 50 ants now which i love that i love the fact that the formicarium has this this tube right here that you can see that when they're when they're feeding something in but they don't have any at the bottom two corners just yet and here they come in it's also really interesting that there's three entrances and exits to the same spot but they usually only come out of one. Like, they don't come out of all three, depending on the opening they go through. Yeah, you guys should just go ahead and just, just go ahead and forfeit. Just forfeit. Okay. Good. good. So that's 50. So is he going to send me, send to each type this time? It's quiet. What's he doing? What's he concocting? 
Now, let's see how they handle the Rufa and the Fusca invaders. We will start with 30 of each. Of course. So now it's my colony, which I know I'm 125 right now, but it's my colony against two invading colonies, which last time he actually also threw in some of the the the, the beetle ones, which I, I'm so sorry that I still don't know the name, uh, the names of these. Um, but he threw them in toward the end and I just, I just decimated him. Like it was kind of, it was kind of sad. Come on, my acid spitters, get up here and help. Victory on two fronts. Yeah. <coughs> Perhaps we should try three colonies this time. Oh God. Introducing 30 of each. There Ufa, it is. Fusca and raptor ants. Raptor ants? Raptor? Raptor? I think that's an ant I haven't run into yet. Which essentially they look like they might be fire ants. Ooh, I haven't run into them yet, I don't think. I still love how all the how all the other ant colonies are perfectly fine with working with each other. Like, they don't see each other as a threat or anything. Okay, so now they're starting to push in here hard. But I still have them I still have them at the choke. A marvelous victory. And that's the one thing I said before that made that kind of made this a little easier was because I just brought them into a choke. Um, which the first time I threw everybody up on top and I just defended as they came and I started to get over overran from all sides. Hmm, I wonder how long they will survive against a sustained flow from all three colonies. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah. So the so the male scientist is. I can't tell if he's a douche, or, or if he's actually trying to scientifically experiment. I can't really tell. I think he's more of a douche, but you know, I I kind of hope for the sake of a, oh hey, are they gonna come charging in? No, they're doing well, my intrepid raptors. What? But what's this? A giant tiger beetle has joined the fray. Holy crap! I mean, we crushed him, but that was a huge freaking tiger beetle. Oh, more ti- oh, oh, they're smaller. Okay, so he was- Oh no, three tiger beetles. So they, those were just smaller tiger beetles. Okay. I, I thought it was just a little weird. He's like, giant tiger beetle. Uh, is it really a giant tiger beetle? Is it? I hope- I don't think I have the splash for my acid spitters just yet. Because that requires more- Royal July that I don't have just yet. But anyway, um, in one of the map challenges, you run into uh, a um, a type of cricket that can bear that can burrow that can burrow into the ground, so they can pop down at any time. I'm wondering if that's going to be a mechanic, since the 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 size above and below can easily be calculated. But if those crickets will actually start digging in at a certain spot and so I have to prepare for it which I guess that would be kind of hard because that also means they would they would have to know the lay of the land down here or they might actually there might actually be ants or creatures that'll start digging through to get to me rather than me getting to them because that I mean I know that I said they were digging down oops but holy crap this? Oh. one two three uh. Nine, ten wolf spiders. It hardly seems fair. Ah, come on, wolf spiders. And they go straight in. So they can go straight for the queen. Oh my gosh, this music is like super terrifying. Ah, all my tanks are in the... are fighting up front. Alright, we're holding them off. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. All right, everyone, everyone fall back. Everyone fall back. <coughs> so the thing, the thing about the, the spiders. Oh, is that a snail? Nope, it's just one that's bugged. Um, the thing about the, the spiders is they charge in and they get past your choke. So that, that's definitely... A good uh, testament to the the fact that the game has different combat mechanics rather than just being bring them into the choke kill them all that kind of thing 
I bet you have to go up top and kill this douchebag. Alright guys, get up top, kill this guy. There we go. Got him. Oh wow, that was it? Yes, Jeez. yes! Victory to the Erector! What's going on here? Uh, yes, the, the ants performed excellently against the Rufa. They just staved off an attack from 40 Rufa ants. 40? I think that's enough for now. We don't want to overstress them. Agreed. The Formica Eruptor. So that was the second one. Um, I want more of the jellies. Continue. Congratulations, your colony has grown significantly. To complete the current early access content, the Formica Formicarium is yours to command to control. To watch over the Formicarium. Additional experiments will be on hold for the time being. I understand. No more tests. Uh huh. Uh, more levels on the way soon. Additional content is available in other game modes, which I've seen that. Keep an eye on our... Yeah, yeah, okay. So, this is the end of the early access version of the game. And this is one of the games that I backed. So that's that's one reason why um, some I have access to some of the early access stuff. Which... Oh, holy crap, that's a lot of food. Ooh, and I can add 25 more. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I have the ability to play this early. Which I, I'm not sure if it's... if if it's early access for backers versus early access for people who pre-ordered the game, I don't know 100%. But I am I am super curious to see how they expand the universe. What is this? Is this just random? Uh-oh. Beware the wolf spider. Oh, it is just random. Okay. Whoops. That's kind of cool. So, I mean, I I hope that they don't keep giving me food. Because, yeah, I understand that that even me getting food, I'm still going to have a limited amount of um, ants that I can create and upgrade and spawn and all that other good stuff. But it seems kind of unfair if I can preemptively prepare myself for... Oh, what? Whoa! Are those my... Are those my workers? Wow! They're... Uh, their hue is completely different. I mean, it, it, maybe this is it the whole time and I'm just an idiot and didn't notice it before. But their hue, that light blue hue, oh my gosh, that is an awesome looking hue. That is awesome looking. Okay, let me get back to it. But anyway, I'm interested to see what other challenges they put the or what you can go up against with ants. I assume you'll go against bigger creatures at some point or... You'll at least go after bigger creep creature corpses. Um, now, the whole game is predominantly based around ants. But that doesn't mean that maybe at some point you'll start playing as other insects. I don't know. Maybe they'll experiment with other kind of um, colonies. But this is just the early access stuff. So that's kind of a limitation of what I can do. So essentially, all I'm pretty much doing is building up my form my formicarium more so that when the new content comes out I can get immediately into it and don't have to worry about backtracking to get more stuff to expand or to prepare or what have you because it's going to be interesting to see where it goes um, because there we have right now we have the underground and then we have above ground so we could definitely do like uh, in a in a house, which would be cool because then you'd have to worry about um, hiding from humans or they wind up killing you. There could also be uh, some uh, like tree ants where uh, you actually have to go through a thin log, which I mean they could just invert it so it looks sideways and it just looks like you're climbing. And then you have to deal with occasional attacks from birds or just things like that that's just things off just off the top of my head i don't know that much about ants beyond kind of what the game is teaching you for the most part so uh with that this is going to be the end of um uh, my ant colony for now um until they add more content i'm kind of i might check out one of the other game modes at some point but as of right now there's not much more i can do to expand upon the story or anything else but anyway 
Thank you guys for joining me on this game. If you have any suggestions on games you'd like for me to play, leave a comment down below because we might play that game next time. See ya.